Hey everyone, Jack here, and uh, I wanted to share a really cool 3D board viewer for Eagle board files that uh, Alvi just pointed me to. And uh, it's really one of the, the best ones that I've worked with so far. So I wanted to uh, make a blog post and share this with everyone. So uh, let's take a look at how it works. So you just drag and drop any Eagle board file you have. And it's going to populate... Uh, you know the components that it finds and you know as is usually the case you you'll see that it gets some of them wrong uh, but this is where it really shines is it's incredibly easy to correct them you know I've, I usually spend lots of time uh, you know re or moving these types of like this uh, USB connector here it's really easy to move it so we could just do this uh, and then do this and move it on the fly and this is incredibly easy compared to what I usually do to get these 3D models set up. Okay, so that problem solved in less than 30 seconds. That's pretty Pretty awesome. Okay, and so how about this? We're missing the uh, the TSOP here. So it's actually, once again, ne it's never been this easy for me to add this in. So we go here, it's got a whole library. It's a six, TSOP 16. Let's go ahead and place it. And uh, once again, it just needs to be adjusted. And voila, <laughs> that's pretty good. Okay, and so, uh, you know, for this, we'll just kind of fake it. And let's just do, let's see, 0 0.1 pin headers. Let's just do one by eight. And then, so I haven't tested uh, uploading my own model for the, the wing connector. Uh, I'm sure it works great, but just for this demo, we'll uh, we'll just put one header in. And okay, and then I usually make Papilio boards red, so let's change that. And this is great because in less than a couple minutes, you know, this is this is something that I can show to uh, the, the the board manufacturer, so that they know exactly how everything is laid out, how exactly how it should look, and uh, you know, I generally manuf or I generally generate something like this for every uh, every board that I send to a manufacturer, and it usually takes me you know half an hour at least. Uh, so this is pretty incredible. This is the fastest I've ever been able to make one of these. So I uh, wanted to get this out and share it with you guys.